Today, I'm gonna to be going over the essentials for beginner photographers, everything you need if you're just starting out in photography. First thing I would recommend in your kit is a prime lens and a zoom lens. Prime lenses don't zoom, so you have to physically walk up to something to get a closer shot, and you have to physically walk back if you wanna get a wider shot. So the zoom lenses zoom, so you can get a wide shot, and then at the same time, you can zoom in and get a closer up portrait. So this is great for event photography, especially if you wanna do weddings. I use this lens primarily for weddings and my fashion portraits. I absolutely love this. It's the 24 to 70 lens, 2.8. Also, I have the 51.4 lens. What a beautiful prime lens. I've been using this since the start of my photography. I 100% recommend it. It's affordable, it's lightweight, produces stunning images. A lot of my friends, I recommend this to them because they're looking for that nice creamy bokeh, beautiful portrait lens. Definitely a popular lens for many photographers. So this, I would recommend 1.4 over the 1.2 if you're just starting out. It's so much more affordable. And I actually bought this lens used. I actually bought both of these used. So definitely would check out these lenses and add them to your kit. Again, a prime lens and a zoom lens and you're good to go. So the next thing that I recommend, a tripod. So why did I just introduce that upside down? So basically, I mean, it's not 100% necessary, but I feel like at some point in your photography career, you're gonna need a tripod. If you're making social media content, if you wanna vlog something, and also if you wanna take self portraits, tripods, you're gonna need one because you need to set your camera up on something. So the one that I have is the Switch Pod, not sponsored by them. Uh, I just really like this product. I actually lost my tripod that I've had for like two years and I had a photo shoot, I needed a tripod and I, f I remember I had this one. So I started using this, I really like it. It's lightweight, easy to use. Like I said, this one, I wouldn't say it's 100% necessary because I shoot handheld when I'm taking pictures, but I feel like you're gonna need this at, in some capacity at some time in your photography career. You might as well get it early on. So yeah, invest in a tripod. You can get a small one, you can get a large one, especially if you're a traveler. I mean, I do vlogging, so I definitely need a tripod. Yeah, so again, this one is Switch Pod. You can find any others online. Find one that fits within your budget that you like. Another reason why you might want a tripod is you can put lights on the tripod and set them up if you're shooting indoors, if you're shooting outside. So again, really, really helpful to have a tripod, even if it's just a small one. So definitely check those out. This one's actually really cool. Like I lost the tripod that I've had for two years. It literally just went missing. I don't know where it is. I don't know, it's out there somewhere. If you find my tripod, let me know. Memory card holders not only keep your cards organized, but they keep your cards safe from dust, from dirt. I mean, you could you could actually corrupt your card if you're just throwing it somewhere. If there's what if there's like dirt that goes into your card, or you know you accidentally put something on top of it and you break it. I mean, you want to make sure that it's protected at all times. I actually have memory card holders with padding on the inside. The last thing you want is to corrupt your card or to to break your card in any way because of mishandling. So getting a really sturdy card holder is key. Again, just makes everything so easy. If you need another card, you just, you know where they are instead of just throwing them everywhere. So memory card holders, a must. I have a bunch of these right there. CF card holders. You can also find SD card holders, whatever. They're all out there on Amazon. So definitely check those out. The next thing that I don't, I don't even think I need to recommend it because you will need it at some point, hard drives, external hard drives. This is just a very small portion of the hard drives that I own. And these are essential for my photography because I just never have space on my computer. I'm always buying these. I, oh wait, I literally have like brand new ones I just bought. These are actually two new drives that I recently bought to store my files in. So, Definitely get yourself some external hard drives because your your photos are gonna take up so much space. I mean, the files just keep getting larger and larger. I mean, especially if you're doing wedding video, you're gonna definitely need an external hard drive or storage of some kind, whether it's online or offline. So I definitely recommend external hard drives. And also, while you are buying these external hard drives, you want to make sure you get a cover. 
do not, under any circumstances, take this hard drive, like I'll pull this out right here. Don't take your hard drive as is and throw it in your bag. Do not do that. Why am I saying this? Because that happened to me. I did that and then guess what? I ruined my hard drive. All the, like it just w would not work anymore. I had to pay $4,000 to get it fixed and get all my files back. You don't want that to be you. And you can watch the story time of that, my hard drive story. And I'll have a link in the description. Do not take any chances. Don't trust these hard drives to work, okay? I love, listen, I love my hard drive, but do I trust it? I don't. So I'm gonna keep it padded up in a little pillow. Look, it has like a little bed here, you know, one of these. With that being said, let's zip this up slowly. I'm sorry, are you okay? Don't even yell at it. Don't even yell at your hard drive. If you're gonna cry about anything in your life, do not let it be an external hard drive. I'm just saying. The next thing that you're gonna wanna get is a camera backpack. You wanna make sure your photography equipment is safe, it's protected. I mean, we're talking about thousands of dollars of equipment here. You don't wanna just throw it in your backpack. Funny story, I actually used to do that. I actually used to do that. I used to get a regular school backpack throw my lenses in there and I used to wrap my camera body in like a t-shirt and I was good to go. I'm like, let's get on this flight. You know, I have my, oh, I have my Mark II in here. I couldn't afford a camera backpack. They do get expensive. Now there are a lot more affordable options for photographers. I 1000% recommend a camera backpack, especially if you're doing a lot of photo shoots, you have more than one lens. You're going to want a camera backpack made specifically for photographers and be, because they have padding to ensure everything stays safe, they have dividers to organize your lenses and stuff like that. Uh, they just, and also backpacks that are weather resistant and waterproof. The last thing that you want is to throw your camera gear into a backpack and guess what? It starts raining on you and the, the water soaks into your backpack and damages your lenses. That also happened to me because my stuff wasn't a flood. Literally, I've been through it all. So trust me when I say, get yourself a camera backpack that's weather resistant, first and foremost, with a zipper in the back that only opens from the back. But that's in my camera backpack review that's coming soon if you want to know what camera backpacks I recommend. Next thing you wanna do is get a lens cleaner and a lens wipe. You wanna make sure the solution is specifically for photographic lenses, okay? Don't just put, don't put, don't spray water on your lenses and call it a day, oh, it's clean. Don't do that. Please use lens cleaner and get yourself a lens wipe. Make sure your lenses are clean. Sometimes when you're shooting, you'll find that there's like like fadedness sometimes or even like small dots. That's because there's probably something on your lens. So make sure to keep them clean using lens cleaner. I mean, this one was like $2. So get yourself lens cleaner, lens wipe. You're good to go. Keep it clean, keep it healthy, keep it fresh. Next thing you want is extras of everything. Yes, welcome to the world of photography. You have five batteries for no reason. You have 17 chargers. You have 28 lens caps. Welcome, welcome to the club. Especially if you are someone who does wedding photography, sometimes you may forget your battery charger plugged into the wall. And guess what? Maybe you might have a shoot the next day and you don't have access, you can't charge your batteries. So it's good to have an extra battery charger. Also, it's like you, basically kind of need extra batteries. We've all been in the situation where we forget to charge our batteries or what if we lose a battery and that's the only one we have. So you always want to be prepared with an extra battery. You can kind of swap them out. You can charge one and then be using one. So it's always handy to have more than one of battery chargers, lens caps, and the actual batteries. I forgot which one I was saying, but basically just get yourself extras of all that, especially the lens caps. You wanna make sure your sensor is covered on your camera if you're traveling or you don't have your lens on it and you wanna make sure your lenses all have a lens cap. Again, you're protecting your lens from things like dust, dirt, from entering your lens and you know ruining the quality of your lens. So always be careful, have extras. The last thing I would recommend is a reflector. This one, I feel like you're gonna end up buying at some point because they're so much fun to use and they're so helpful to have. So reflectors basically bounce back light. They fill in shadows. You can even like add gold tones to your photo using like a gold reflector. Or if you switch to silver, it creates more cool tones. 
And so this is what I love about Reflector. It's easy to use and it's super handy and portable to take with you on every photo shoot. You can do so much with this. And also the diffuser is super handy to have because the diffuser actually softens up the light, especially if it's harsh light. So for instance, if you're shooting outside in the sunlight and it's very harsh, it's coming down like, you know, really contrasted, taking out a diffuser and having the sun kind of pass through it will scatter the light and soften it up. It will look beautiful. So I definitely recommend a reflector. And the one on the ones on eBay actually come with like they come what with white, black, they come with gold, they come with silver, and they come with a semi, was it semi-translucent one that you can use also as a diffuser. So 1000% recommend. They're super affordable. You can find them on eBay. So definitely recommend a reflector. Here's a quick example, just using this reflector to fill in some of the shadows under my chin here. Again, so simple, so easy to use. That's pretty much everything. I feel like there wasn't that much, but honestly, those are like the bare essentials for me. Then you can kind of add on cooler accessories if you want, but honestly, I've been doing this for 10 years now, and these are all things that I've been using consistently throughout my photography career. So that's why I recommend them to you guys. Good luck on your photography journey. I really hope that this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.